Randy McKee with Soccer 605 here with a very happy Coach Paul Bennett with the USF men's team. Uh, congratulations on a good win tonight, Coach. Thank you. Yeah, it was a uh, way to the last three minutes of the game, but we finally got the one to, to get the results, so that was good. Well, I'll tell you, it looked, uh, you know, the, uh, talking to the players, they, they thought that they'd made some adjustments, you know, to, to be a little tougher to score on, and they sure were tonight. Yeah, yeah, I think they did a few uh, tactical adjustments to kind of uh, keep us out of the, you know, the, the attack, and we had, you know, very few chances throughout the game, but I thought our midfield and our defense held strong as well, not really giving them any chances either, so I think on both sides of the ball, the midfield defenders was, was tough. They did a great job, and, you know, uh, some of the diagonal stuff you guys hooked up on tonight was just brilliant. Yeah, yeah, I told the guys, I mean, if we could get it wide and get get around and get at those outside backs, I thought that was their weak area of the, of the field, and I times we did do it, we got some good service in. I wish we would have done a bit more. We probably would have been having a few more chances. You know, I was sitting there in the stands watching, and I thought, you know, uh, as good as they've looked, as many good opportunities, they got to get rewarded one of these times, and sure enough, it did happen. Yeah, yeah, you got to give them credit. They just kept pushing and pushing, and the uh, game was getting close to the end, and we just finally got were able to get one in, which was, was satisfying. The common thread of the guys I talked to tonight was uh, they're happy they finally put 90 together. Yeah, I think overall uh, the 90, we really didn't have any any low points in the game. Again, uh, offensively we struggled a little bit getting chances, but again, I thought we were solid connecting passes in the midfield and defensively uh, keeping it strong. I know uh, probably coming into the night you were, uh, if you're like most coaches, thinking, oh no, it's so hard to beat a team twice in a row. And, and for this one, only four days away from your last game with them, you must have had a few of those ideas running through your mind. Yeah, yeah. Even though we, we won 5 3 on Saturday, they put us under a lot of pressure um, and we withstood that. Um, so I knew tonight they were going to want some revenge and they were going to come out hard against us. Um, but yeah, I thought we, we diffused that a little bit with our uh, strong defending and strong midfield play. Yeah, you, you made them, uh, I mean, the, in every point of the game, you made them play your game and not theirs. Yeah, and, and the one thing that I was proud of is, is we were challenging every ball and we were getting in, stuck in on tackles and we were winning 50 50 balls. And so, again, I think we counterbalanced what they were trying to do and, and didn't really let them dictate the pace of the game or dictate the style of the game. Well, whatever you're doing here, uh, it's working. They get better every time they step on the pitch, Coach. Yeah, every game I think we've been getting a little bit better. Uh, getting two wins uh, behind us in a row I think will give us some good confidence moving forward and we'll have a, a nice week off before we head back up to Billings or uh, back up to Bismarck to play uh, MSU Billings and Northwest Nazarene. Well, Coach, uh, it was really a pleasure watching the team tonight and I know you, uh, you need to get out of here, but thanks again uh, for giving us a couple minutes tonight and uh, best luck here the next week and uh, heading, up to, heading up to North Dakota again. Yeah, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it.